What's up? I'm Ayana Dorenville, and we're going to talk about Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Birthmark. The Birthmark takes place in the late 1700s. The story revolves around this old geezer who's a scientist named Alomer. He's obsessed with the idea of perfection and tries to get it in his own wife. It shouldn't be hard considering his wife, Georgiana, is beautiful, caring, and devoted to him. So she should be the perfect wife, right? Wrong! She got a birthmark, and according to him, it's ugly. Basically, Alamer says the small mark on Georgiana's cheek is the only thing keeping her from perfection, and that she should get it removed. Georgiana becomes saddened by this, feeling bad about the birthmark she once perceived as a gift being perceived as a curse by the one she loves. She ends up saying that she'll allow Alamer to remove it, even if she dies, so he can be happy. Alamer, happy with the decision, says not to doubt him. After chilling in one of his decorated lab rooms, Georgiana decides to follow Alamer into his main lab. There she realizes that Alamer is uncertain that this will even work. Alamer tells her again that she should have faith in him, and she puts him in his place and tells him, Nah, trust me, I'm willing to die for this fam. Alamer shocked, and when they go back to the other room, Georgiana downs a drink and knocks out. The birthmark slowly fades, and Alamer's ecstatic. When Georgiana awakens and sees the red mark gone, she talks in despair. When Alamer asks why she would be sad at his success, she comments that the birthmark is gone, and that she's dying. The reader doesn't get to see the rest, being the narrator goes on to explain what just occurred and the meaning behind it. The author Nathaniel Hawthorne's attitude towards the action and events within his own story convey his concern toward those around his time who would attempt to have scientific advancement solve man's problems. Towards the characters, Hawthorne puts Alamer in a light of selfish uncertainty towards the way he wishes Georgiana's slight imperfection gone, whereas with Georgiana, it's shown she isn't a fool and knows very well that she could and most likely will die if she goes through with the process, yet still, bravely and passionately, wishes to do it. Within the separate character perceivements, Hawthorne's dislike for Alamer's obsession for perfection can be found, as well as slight admiration towards the imperfection Georgiana bears. Some symbols within the story include Georgiana and her birthmark, which represent mankind and humanity's mortal imperfections. Alamer and his obsession with removing Georgiana's birthmark thus represents those who wish to achieve through science things equivalent to God's will. For instance, immortality, which is brought up within the story. Nathaniel Hawthorne's purpose in writing the birthmark was to convey to people in his time who were being consumed by the idea that science could fix, change, and do anything, that science wasn't perfect, and if it could become so good as to change nature and mankind's imperfections, then humanity would no longer be present. The theme of the bookmark was primarily about how perfection shouldn't be strived for, being mankind's imperfections make them human. Hawthorne wants his readers to understand that flaws make us all human, and without them, what humanity do we have left? The title of the story, The Birthmark, primarily means imperfection, since the story is centralized on Georgiana being imperfect because of it. Thus, the title gives away the story's theme of a human being imperfect.